may adlaw na tuntanan. Are you experiencing a sharp pain at the bottom of your foot or at the sole of your foot, especially when you take that first step after you wake up or get out from your bed? If so, then you might have plantar fasciitis and you might want to watch this video to learn techniques on how to relieve that pain. Hi, I'm Nathan. I'm your occupational therapist and my goal is to help you be more consistent with your therapy at home. When you have plantar fasciitis, you will have pain at the bottom of your foot, usually in this area right here, because the, there's a thick connective tissue or there's a thick tissue there that runs from the heel going up to your toes and that is inflamed and injured. So. What causes it is overload, overtraining, and sometimes it is difficult to admit we are gaining weight. But don't you worry, there are exercises and stretches that you can do to alleviate that pain and we will do those exercises right now. Okay, the first technique that you can do is massaging the bottom of your foot. You can do the splaying method which is using your thumbs and you're just going to Start from the top or closest to your toes and go outwards, okay? So that is playing method. If that is difficult for you, you can use the knuckles of your fist, okay? I like using the knuckle of my index finger, okay? And I'm going to just massage the bottom of my foot for about a minute okay starting from the top closest to your toes and going down okay pay more attention at the inner side of your foot and go as hard as you can tolerate or as light as you want okay and do this for about a minute now, if you cannot reach and cross your legs, you can also use a lacrosse ball or a tennis ball, something firm and round, and put it on the floor and massage the bottom of your foot by rolling your foot on top of that ball, just like this, okay? Do that for a minute. Then, the second technique is stretching your plantar fascia which is just grabbing your toes like so so your thumb goes on top of your of your toes and your fingers will wrap around the bottom of your toes and pull it towards your shin okay sometimes it might be tender and and there might be a sharp pain there that you will experience but this will help you stretch that fascia hold that for about 20 seconds uh, three times okay 30 to tw uh, 20 to 30 seconds about three times okay then release and do it again for about 20 seconds so again 20 to 30 seconds three times of this plantar fascia stretch the third technique is a calf stretch using a belt. So just leave you a belt close to your bedside so that each morning you can stretch your calf muscle using your belt. So place the belt around the bottom of your foot and then pull your foot towards you or towards your shin and hold that for about 30 seconds. Again. 20 to 30 seconds three times do this every morning especially when you have bad plantar fasciitis pain okay so hold that for 30 seconds and then release okay you're going to just loosen up a little bit and then pull up again for about 20 to 30 seconds three times okay this is a really good stretch using a belt. Again, you don't have to buy any fancy equipment when you do your exercises at home. Important thing is, again, consistency, yes. 
and release. So that is how you stretch your calf muscle using a belt that you will leave at your bedside so you can do your stretches every morning. The next technique is going to improve the mobility of your foot and your plantar fascia. So what you want to do is to let your foot hang on the edge of your bed or you can also do this with your your leg on top of your of your uh, bed but it's better if it is hanging at the edge of your bed now what you want to do is to spell your name say for example my name is Nathan I'm going to spell my name using my toes and my foot okay your complete name including your last name if your full name is too short spell your name twice okay and then rest do that three times and that will improve the mobility of your foot and your plantar fascia okay so just moving your foot and your toes you need to move your toes to go up as well to stretch that fascia under or the bottom of your foot not just your foot the entire thing okay foot and toes move that around by spelling your complete name twice and then rest do it three times all right now we are standing up so that we can stretch our calf muscles which includes your gastrocnemius and your soleus muscle get close to a wall for support since we are going to bring one leg in the front and one leg at the back okay we are stretching the back leg it is important to note you are going to keep your heel touching the floor the entirety of this stretch okay so support yourself on the wall using your wall as your support and keep that back leg straight as possible now bend your front leg from the knee and hold that position for one minute this will stretch your gastrocnemius muscle and while doing this do your deep breathing okay inhale through your nose and out through your mouth hold this position for one minute be patient with this because a stretch needs to be done for a longer period of time to be effective. All right. Now, after doing so, we are going to stretch our soleus muscle. So slightly bend the back leg from the knee and you will feel the stretch going from the top part going down to the bottom of your foot and hold that for one minute again okay do your deep breathing while you're at it to get that good stretch at your soleus muscle okay let's do one round of inhalation and exhalation inhale and exhale do another one inhale exhale and lastly inhale exhale now you're going to do the other side too again it is important to note that the back side the back leg keeping that heel touching the floor the entirety of that stretch okay so do both sides when you have plantar fasciitis just for prevention if you only have pain on one side so do the other side too it wouldn't hurt okay the last technique and exercise is going to be heel raises you're going to use a thick book see I'm using my old college book and a rolled up towel so roll up your towel place it on top of your book and place your foot on top of that rolled up towel okay just at the toes 
and let your heel hang at the edge of your book, okay? Now what you want to do is to bring yourself up, bring your heel up, for three seconds going up, hold it for two seconds, then going down three seconds, okay? If that is difficult, use both feet. Place both feet on top of that rolled up towel. It wouldn't hurt, but this is to strengthen the fascia and the tendon of your calf muscles, all right? So you wanna go up three seconds, hold it for two, and then go down three seconds. Let's do two more, but I would suggest if you do this nine to 12 times, okay? Go up, hold for two, and go down three seconds. Let's do one more. Go up, one, two, three, hold for two seconds, and go down. One, two, three. And that is how you do heel races to improve the strength of your calf muscles and your fascia at the bottom of your foot. And finally, you need to let your plantar fascia heal. Remember, it is an injury to your plantar fascia. So it is inflamed, it is it might be torn so you need to let it heal all right and while you're doing that get you a shoe insert to absorb the loading on that area where it is there's no good support there so a good cushion a good shoe insert will support a high arch foot or if you have a flat foot they will also support that foot in order to bring it up a little higher all right so i prefer dr shows because one it is cheap it is reliable and you can just trim it according to your shoe size okay now be consistent with your exercises so but you also need to cut down consider just always remember that is an injury and consider letting it heal okay cut down on your distance if you like running and if you have gained a little bit of weight lose that weight again okay and now if you have any questions suggestions and comments just type it down below and rate your pain from zero to ten if it was a seven and it went down to four or three that's a good sign and if this video helped consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing and share this video as well, all right? And just a reminder, consistency is the key and never give up. Until next time, palam.